Hello everyone, I'm Edo, I'm here to talk to you about our latest product release, Blueprints. Traditionally, getting started on a new project can take time, just reaching the hello world can take hours, if not longer. At Storyblock we have developed Blueprints to give you a head start, because setup shouldn't get in the way of the creativity. With just a few clicks you will have a fully structured project with actual source code, dynamic routing and a CMS based layout all deployed to GitHub and Netlify. And with Figma design templates included you're not just launching code, you're launching a full experience. Let's get into it. Within Storyblock we will click Add Space as we normally would do to begin a new project, but now you will see Start From Blueprint. Now you will see our first two blueprints, Core and Business. As described, Core is a simple structured layout to begin building your site. It is bare bones, but allows you to get started in a new space much faster in various frameworks including Next.js, Astro, Next.js, React, Vue.js, Svelte and Eleventy. The core blueprint is aligned with our technology guides, serving as the ideal technical introduction and future reference for your Storyblock journey. The business blueprint is a more fleshed out space. It contains multiple pages, including home, services and about, and within them there are various components like page, hero, testimonials and tabs. It's also using TypeScript and performs runtime validation of content. At the moment we only support Next.js, but we will support various frameworks in the future. So let's create a new space with the business blueprint. First we will name our new space and click next step. Now we can connect the new space to GitHub and also we will be able to select the framework once we have more available. One more important thing to note, if you are creating a new space for your organization and not as a personal user, you might want to make sure you are connecting it to your GitHub organization account and not your private one. Now click connect to GitHub and login using your credentials. Here you will be able to select from various frameworks when they will be available and here you can name your repository. You can now create your repository and proceed. Essentially, we have created a GitHub repository for you automatically, which contains all the source code for your new space. Back in Storyblock, the next step is connecting to Netlify. So click Connect to Netlify, Authorize, name your project and create the site. It can take a few minutes to generate, so if you open the site right away, don't be alarmed if you don't see the content. Looking into the future, we will provide a new option to deploy with Vercel. This may already be available, but if not, it's on the way. Now, after clicking Next Step, you have the option to open the Figma plugin if you would like to. Also, you can view the Figma template with all of the designs used in the Blueprint application you have selected. Finally, you can select the plan you would like to use. For the purpose of this video, we will continue with Starter. As you can see, we are now in our brand new space. Clicking on content, we can see all of the stories. Heading into the block library, we can see all of the newly created components. And entering the assets library, you will see all of the assets we have used in this starter space. Now let's check the home page that was automatically generated. Here we can have a look at the whole page layout and the live preview is fully responsive as you can see when we edit this headline. So start your next Storyblock project with a blueprint and let us know what you think. Oh, and more blueprints and frameworks are coming, so stay tuned.